save and preserve the yeah, yeah. New Guinea Highland Wild Dog. Penelitian terhadap Highland Wild Dog sebenarnya sudah dirintis sejak lama oleh para ilmuwan Papua. This is 3:39 a.m. One degree. We have a hair trap collector there with some really obnoxious smelling things in the center, and it's really intrigued the dogs. Skunk essence, crushed North American coyote gland, but a little bit around here. And this is our hair trap, and it's meant for them to roll and leave some hair. We have some hanging baits inside, and there was a time where this dog would go in and do it, but this is the day after or two that we had a capture in there. That's why I'm here this year, is so that we can collect actual biological samples, give them back to the United States, and we can find out once and for all what these dogs are up there. Then they will get greater respect and recognition throughout the world. Previously, we've seen wild dogs down there, too. So we've seen them there, mm -hmm. and then we've seen them there. So we, we want to play the sound over here also before we leave. Kalau kita mancing, kita yang kasih makan, selesai baru kita jalan. Kalau kita ikut anjing itu, kalau jalan aman. Kalau itu kan kita empu ini, kita empukan nenek moyang. Jadi kalau dia buka jalan tau, itu kita bisa ikut. Highland Wild Dog. Bukanlah makhluk asing yang perlu dihindari. Mereka adalah sahabat manusia. Anjing liar yang hidup di dataran tinggi Papua ini sudah sejak lama berinteraksi dengan penduduk asli dan saling menghargai. Mereka merupakan bagian dari kekayaan hayati Indonesia yang keberadaannya semakin memperkokoh kearifan lokal Papua. Sehingga sudah sewajarnya jika kelangsungan hidup anjing liar ini dijaga dengan seksama. Untuk semua itulah, para peneliti Highland Wild Dog menyumbangkan tenaga dan pikiran mereka 